There was a story yesterday talking about how General Motors have invested in a new battery startup, saying that um, this battery startup could potentially be revolutionary for GM, and it could could provide some of batteries which are pretty amazing. What I found interesting is that none of the articles actually pointed out the fact General Motors is sort of just shooting shooting bullets all over the place and hoping that some of them will stick. Now, I'm sure you're aware of GM's joint venture partnerships with multiple battery companies, uh, Samsung, SDI, LG Chem, for example, are two of them, but also General Motors wants to build a lithium ion phosphate battery factory in the United States, licensing CATL's battery technology. So those are just a few of the things that GM are doing. However, General Motors are actually investing or have invested in multiple different battery companies over the past few years. Here are three of them. They all make completely different types of batteries. And I think my point is pretty valid that GM are just going, yeah, we'll give you some money, we'll give you some money, we'll give you some money and hope that one of them actually works. They could or they might not. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. Great to have you with us. We'd love to have you with us at the EV show, the Sydney EV show, which is on to the, from the 8th to the 10th of November. I'll be there. Love to see you there. And if you'd like to come, you can get a big discount on your tickets if you use my link in the description below. General Motors joined a list of big automakers picking their horses in the race to develop better batteries for electric vehicles with its lead of a $140 million investment into the lithium metal battery developer, SES. Now that sounds like new news, doesn't it? But actually it's not. That actually happened all the way back in April of 2021, what, nearly three and a half years ago. Have we heard much about that since? Lithium metal batteries. Yeah, I mean, I've done a few videos on them, but not from SES. So seems like that one hasn't panned out yet. I mean, it might in the future at some point in time. General Motors have, of course, also invested money with POSCO, uh, a, another Korean investor. In fact, they've invested billions with them, and they're hoping that they can actually solve solid-state battery technology together. But because POSCO and GM have sort of a, a joint venture partnership, I won't go into the details behind that one. However, GM also invested about a year ago in the company called Nanoramic Laboratories. And I'll make a video on that at some point in the future. Another investment from General Motors, which was meant to be a huge one, and this was gonna pay off big time, was when General Motors invested in 2023, September the 12th, so 13 months ago, in the in the artificial intelligence-led battery materials developer, Mitrochem. So Mitrochem, what do they do? Well, it said that they were gonna be a revolutionary, and still could be, lithium ion phosphate battery manufacturer in the US. General Motors actually invested $60 million into Mitrochem last year, who are a battery material specialist that use artificial intelligence to lead their research and development. The partnership will be beneficial for both parties. General Motors will use Mitrochem's AI powered platform and R&D facility in Mountain View, California. Mitrochem will invest the funding to scale their operations and speed up the advancement of novel battery materials and take them into commercialization. Specifically though, what type of batteries are they working on? Well, as part of the partnership, Mitrochem are exploring lithium iron based cathode active materials. However, LMFP is the key here. Lithium manganese iron phosphate are the batteries that General Motors are hoping that this company, Mitrochem, will be able to mass produce for the company. So lithium iron phosphate batteries doped with manganese cathodes are essentially the battery type here. When you dope the manganese cathode, it actually reduces the energy density to some degree. And you've got to kind of do things to get to offset that decrease to make the manganese actually make the battery work better. A new company actually revealed their battery technology called Prologium, not a new company, you should probably heard of them. Prologium revealed that their new manganese doped cathodes have 80% manganese in the cathode, but they have a proprietary solution to increase the battery the battery energy density by a total of 30%, which is groundbreaking. So General Motors are hoping that this company, Mitra Chem, can do something similar for them in the United States. We haven't heard anything about that since, so hopefully something will come to, come to the fore for GM. Now, getting back to this recent story, Forge Nano's game-changing EV battery technology. That's what Electric calls it. Now, of course, 
if it had been from Tesla, they would have said it was absolute rubbish and Tesla was lying about it and it wouldn't, go, it wouldn't happen until 2029. But because it's General Motors, apparently Forge Nano's battery technology is game changing and it's awesome. If that is really true, I don't understand why General Motors only invested $10 million into the company when it's, exi- when it's invested 10 to 20 times more. In fact, even 100 times more in other battery companies. If this is so game changing, surely General Motors would have said, well, here's a billion dollars, right? That would make sense considering they've invested far more in solid state battery partnerships with random companies. Anyhow, Forge Nano apparently now exceeds capital investment of 100 million. Some of that has come from multiple companies, including General Motors, Volkswagen, LG, Hanwha, and Mitsu Kinkozu. They're all shareholders. GM and Forge Nano have also signed a strategic partnership agreement to use Forge Nano's proprietary atomic layer deposition, ALD technology, atomic armor, to develop thin film coatings to enhance GM's cathode active materials. Forge Nano will build prototype lithium-ion battery cells at its Colorado headquarters to improve GM's EV battery performance and lifespan. Atomic Armor is a surface coating that when applied to an EV battery, prevents corrosion, strengthens properties, and improves performance. It results in a 20% increase in range, apparently. Don't know how, but apparently it does, and gives the EV battery the ability to fast charge in 10 minutes. Now, I've got to put a caveat here, and this is for all battery types. When you hear this stuff about fast charging in 10 minutes, it is actually theoretically true but you need the right architecture in your vehicle. And building the right architecture in your vehicle can be expensive. If you want to put an 800 volt architecture in your vehicle that's capable of you know, utilizing the ability to fast charge certain battery types in 10 minutes, it costs quite a bit more money. So that's one thing worth considering. There's quite a few electric cars out there on the market with batteries capable of charging in 10 minutes, but the EV charges in 30 minutes because it doesn't have the right architecture. Now. That's not to say these batteries won't be great and this new revolutionary coating will be awesome. It certainly could be. But as you can see from this video, General Motors are, you know, they're kind of following a scattered approach and this, I understand this. I mean, a lot of companies are doing the same thing. Obviously, GM are also working on their own Ultium battery technology and they're planning to use lithium ion phosphate batteries from who knows which company in their vehicles within the next six to 12 months. So if you're General Motors head honcho, what do you do? What's your plan? What are your solutions? Obviously, GM's Ultium batteries are, you know, they're not bad, they're decent, but they're certainly not industry leading. Do you continue to develop those? Do you try and make those better? Do you invest in solid state batteries, which they are doing as well? Do you invest in any one of these multiple companies? What would be the strategy you would employ? Now, personally, I've got to say, just in researching this information, I'm a little confused. And if you're the CEO of a company, if you're Mary Barra, and you've got to deal with operations going on, you've got to deal with internal combustion vehicles, you've got to deal with hybrids, you've got to deal with plug-in hybrids, you've got to deal with EVs, you've got to deal with all your new portfolios, you've got to deal with all your managers. There is so many things to think about. How does she plan for the future when so many things are going on, when it comes down just to something, you know, like as straightforward you would think as batteries. Now, obviously batteries are not straightforward, but it's just one small component of the company of General Motors. What do you guys reckon? Uh, What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.